It's a pleasure this evening to welcome to the studio Corey Hart. Hi, Corey. How are you doing? Very well. What it's are you a pleasure to be here. It's good. What are you doing in New Zealand? It's getting quiet. <laughs> I'm in New Zealand to uh, promote my new album. New album called Attitude and Virtue. It's actually my first time over here. And uh, I changed record companies and they had the, uh, the good sense and the, uh, the good belief to have me over here and invite me. You traveling with anybody? Um, yeah, I'm here with my wife, actually. Yeah, and she's uh, right over there. Yeah, maybe she'll come up. Uh, no, she, she's kind of shy. You had some really great hits in 1983, I think it was, with I Wear My Sunglasses at Night and Never Surrender. What have you been doing since then? Well, I've been making records, although they haven't been played over here <laughs> since, uh, since really 85, 86. Right. Um, I made up, uh, this is my sixth album, the one that's just coming out now. And, uh, you know, I've made five. I've been still uh, out there touring and, and making some noise, and I think this one will uh, be the one to put me over over here. Very busy. There's um, a, lot of, a lot of things happening in Canada, Canada, it seems, with Brian Adams being very big. Um, is there a, a real drive with Canadian music going on at the moment? Well, I'm real patriotic, so I'm real happy when a Canadian does well, and, uh, you know, we've got some really good talent over in Canada, and, uh, you know, I hope to spread the word, too. Cool. We're going to have a look at something from your new album, your latest single, but before we do that, if uh, anyone would like to talk to Corey, you might uh, want to dial 635-033 or 09-333-833 to ask him a question. In the meantime, this is Corey Hart with Baby When I Call Your Name. There you go, Corey. Baby, when I call your name, tell Thanks us a little bit much. about that song. This is strange. Uh, that song's written about my relationship, actually. We've uh, known each other for about uh, 10 years, and it sort of traces our history. Uh, Why doesn't Erica together. come up here? Ah, uh, she's shy. She doesn't want to. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I see that there's a sita in the video. Yeah, actually, I traveled through uh, India and China before we were recording this album, and I uh, heard a lot of sitar. I've always uh, really liked it, and there's a couple of tracks. In fact, there's another song called 92 Days of Rain, and songs from the Portuguese on the new album that's got a lot of sitar in it. Would you say that was a distinct change in your style uh, involving other influences like this? I tried, I tried a couple of different things on this record. Uh, you know, pretty much a Corey Hart album is going to have Corey Hart songs. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think the important thing as a songwriter and as a singer is to keep challenging myself. Uh, you know, new uh, rhythms and new dimensions musically. I guess that comes with the name of the album, My Attitude and Virtue. That's it. I think we need a little more of it in the world and it's something I strive for uh, as a person. Absolutely. We've got uh, Kirk from Auckland on the line now who wants to ask you a question. Hey, hey, Kirk. Hi, Corey. How are you doing? How are you doing? Not too bad, buddy. Where are you from? I'm from Vancouver, actually. Yeah, welcome you sound to... like it. You... Yeah, welcome to the land of the long white cloud. Am I looking the right way? Are you you right are. Here? Okay, you man. are. I can see you clearly. Cool. Say, take us back uh, 10, say 15 years uh, um, in the music business in, in Canada, and uh, what was your influence that uh, got you where you are today? You could have been uh, one of many things, but uh, you ended up in rock and roll. Well, actually, I moved back to Canada when I was about 11. I lived in Spain and Mexico when I was a kid. And uh, when we moved back, um, I listened to a lot of uh, Police and a lot of uh, Billy Joel. Actually, Billy Joel, early Billy Joel, got me to start writing on the piano, and uh, that's pretty much the main instrument I write on now. Okay, you, you mentioned on your jacket from the uh, 1990 album, the Bang album, about Erica. And of course, Boy, she's now, getting a lot of airtime today. It sure is. <laughs> now, that you, now that you're married, how have you found that uh, being married has influenced your music? Has, have you found the, the music to be a little more quieter and softer, or? No, no, not necessarily. I mean, this first single is a ballad. Um, actually, the, the first single coming out of Canada is a, is a real rock and roll uh, up-tempo track um, called 92 Days of Rain. Um, I know, I think married life is fantastic, and, uh, you know, we're, we're best friends, and, uh, you know, some of the, some of the love songs, uh, not some of them, all the love songs, actually, are, are now only written about one woman, and uh, that's her. All right, now, this is a promotional tour that you're on. When are we going to get a chance to see you down here play? Pardon me? When are we going to get a chance to see you play here in Auckland? I hope to be over uh, and tour uh, in the fall. Actually, it's your... Uh, your springtime, That's right. if I got it correctly. Um, I'm going to be in Japan, and uh, I should be here hopefully in uh, September, October. All right, take care now. Thanks, Thanks very much, Kirk. Kirk. All right, bye-bye. King Music fan, King fan of yours by the sounds of a Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Can I take this out now? Yeah, we've got, got that tour it. to look forward to. And um, coming up on the show, we've got a three-play featuring Meatloaf. The caller, uh, Kirk, that called in, I, uh, I signed this to you. Hope you like it, buddy. Thanks for calling. Lucky Kirk. Has everyone enjoyed themselves here this evening? Yeah! yeah. Nice. nice to hear. It's good to have you along. And if you want to come into the studio, drop us a line at TVFM, TV3, Private Bag, Simon Street, Auckland, with your phone number on the back of the envelope so we can.
call you back. Oh. Music keeps happening next week and soon to be touring Crowded House, live in concert, Def Leppard, and of course the big Prince competition. Take care. And from all of us here, good night. Adios. Thanks very much. Just uh, like to make one small correction. Uh, I'm from Canada. <laughs> I didn't write the script, and, right? Uh, it's a bit like you know, I'm saying that you guys are Aussies, I suppose. I'm really sorry about that, Corey. <laughs> Shall we do that again? Shall no, we do no, that no, again? No, it's cool, sure? man. It's cool, man. Okay, no problem. All right, so the award for female vocalist goes to Fiona McDonald. I'm, I'm stop looking up in that light. Our first guest tonight has had a string of nine consecutive hits in the US, including his smash hit Sunglasses at Night. He's currently in Australia for a promotional tour, and I am delighted, ladies and gentlemen, to say he's with us tonight. Please welcome Corey Hart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Great shirt. Hey. Great yeah. shirt. Where'd you get the shirt from? Uh, I don't know, actually. My wife bought it for me. Your wife bought your shirt? Yeah, I'm not a good shopper. Are you I don't think shopper? men are. No, I don't think men are good shoppers. I think it's because we're more primal. What is that growing out of your shirt, actually? This? No, this is... My wife's just learned applique stitch. Uh. And, and she just, you know, she, she, it's a new one for her and she likes to practice. It looks like an erotic jalapeno or something. I know, I'm sorry, that last word was... <laughs> You speak Spanish? Oh, is it Spanish? Yeah, oh, thank yeah, goodness, because yeah, I thought it was Spanish. more gynecologic. Yeah, you thought it was Canadian or something, right? Yeah, I thought yeah, it was a Canadian yeah. joke. Now, you speak Spanish as well, don't you? Yeah, you Why speak... don't you say hi to all our Spanish viewers? Bueno, como estas? Donde ahí? Bueno, toda la gente, como estas? Es Cory Hart aquí en Australia, y qué más? No sé. Something about what your good mate Richard's wearing. <laughs> este hombre se llama Ricardo, eh? Hey, uh, uh, Ricardo that. Stubbs. <laughs> See, it works beautifully. I could be Spanish. So uh, your wife chose this shirt, did she? Uh, she chose the pants, she chose the boots. Really? Yeah, she chooses everything. But that's because I think guys just shop because, like, we shop on a different level, don't you think? I mean, oh, we yeah. just go cold, need coat, yeah. fine coat, warm. <laughs> you know, I, it's in the fashion and style doesn't come into it, I think. I just wear, I'd wear the same, you know, I'd wear the same pair of jeans and the same uh, t-shirt. I, I change my underwear every once in a while. Do you? But, yeah. yeah, I meant to ask about that. How are you on socks? Because I always feel they're a bit far away to um, really worry about. I don't, yeah, I don't wear socks. You don't wear socks? Mm. No. Aren't raunchy kind of guys supposed not to wear underwear? I, I don't know that you're not supposed to wear socks. I'm not really interested in what raunchy guys want to wear. Oh, come <laughs> on. Uh, in your quiet heart of hearts. No, Richard, that's your problem. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, so you've, you've touched on the raunch uh, aspect. How's right? the kid? How's the kid? Yeah. Kid's loud, thank you. Is that? He's going to be, he's gonna be voted <laughs> kid most likely to have a black heavy metal T-shirt by age of six. <laughs> He's already putting his fist in the air. You know, he's got, he's got the Fender amp. Yeah, he has, he has got mm. the Fender amp. How place. old is he? He's, uh, oh, well, let's see, in all the weeks I've been a father, he'll be uh, seven weeks. Seven out. weeks, and mm. he's already crashing out the guitar stuff. Oh, yeah, plays, he knows three chords. What are those over there? Which, mate? Uh, the lollies? What do you call them? These? Yeah. They're lollies, they're jelly beans. Do you get out much, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here, what happens is you eat them and they taste like sugar, but really? sort of really? flavoured as well. Do you want to try one? Uh, um, Go on, you can. Why do you call them lollies? Well, I'll tell you later once you've had a couple. You were never in the Scouts, I take it. <laughs> Are these set? Oh, nothing. Trust me. It's gum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gum. Sure it is. Later, w later, when you wake up in your hotel room, you'll remember nothing. Now, <laughs> hey, speaking of remember nothing... They're what? terrible. Yeah, of course they're terrible. They've been there two years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look. Look what Merv's done over there. <laughs> um, hey, tell us about, tell us about travelling. What was that like? Because you've uh, just, you know, done an, uh, Asia and India. What was that like? Was that fun? I got really sick in Delhi. I had Delhi belly. You're kidding. I find mm. that hard to believe. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes the mind boggle. Yeah, yeah, it? really. And how did you do that? What, was it something Well, I ate the wrong curry, obviously. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah and sick. when you say really sick, how sick is really sick? Well, put without it detail, way. without the graphic spinning visual multicolor detail. Think of Linda Blair. Whoa. <laughs> the head spinning thing. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Gee, it must have been attractive to be in the room with. How does your wife stand this? Uh, well, we just got married, actually. It was our honeymoon, so... Oh, you lie like a rug. You've been married for 12 years. No, no. We were, we were teenagers, uh, obviously. At one point in my life, I was a teenager. Uh -huh. But we, we met... It's um, a phase. Yeah, we, we met. Uh, we met in high school. Wow. We met in high school. She said that I was uh, Han Solo, who I didn't know at the time who she was talking about. Do you know who Han Solo is? Yeah. yeah. 
And they really believe you on the Han Solo thing too. Can you pick that vibe? Yeah. Erica, she's really over there. Oh, really? You can't see her, yeah. Oh, just as well. Yeah. She's now cringing. So what did she say to you? You look like Han Solo, but you could do with someone who could really dress you well. Uh, yeah, she thought I was uh, a young Harrison Ford. I didn't know who he was, because it was, like, obviously, it was 77 or 78. I didn't know who he was. So I went to check out the movie. Um, and then I realized I didn't look at all like the guy. And, and you still uh, went out with her? Yeah, well, I actually, I pursued her, and she kind of gave me a hard time. She wasn't really interested in me. Really? Yeah. Well, how did you ma manage to finally get a date with her? What did you say? Well, we went out on my birthday, and... Uh -huh. uh, you asked a girl out for your, on the first date for your birthday. Well, the story was... Trying to get a present. Is that what you're angling for? <laughs> How flimsy was this? Well, why did I come to the show? Because, oh, you know, you were bored. You had nothing to do. You were at home. I heard you're an uh, economics major. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You good with numbers? No. No? No, I'm an Australian economics major. Uh... <laughs> Tish, boom. So anyway, yeah, so you know what, you know, right, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm setting this guy up for one-liners. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. You can do them too. Go yeah. on, leap in. Uh, do whatever you feel yeah. the urge. Okay. Tell us about your birthday date. This is big. My birthday? Yeah, May 31. Yeah, no, I mean, not the actual date. I mean, when you took your wife out, you know, and you got the present. That yeah, one. Yeah, we're going to talk about age here? Oh, yeah. If you, <laughs> all right, if you want to. Yeah, no, it's okay. I don't want to. Oh, okay. Um, so well, what, did you, what did your wife give you on that first date? Chat and VTR insert. Sorry. Um, we, actually, what happened was is her sister took me out because basically as a teenager, I really just stayed at home and, and tried to write songs when I was like 16, 17. Uh -huh. And uh, she, she took pity on me, so she took me out for my birthday. You were a nerd, weren't you, Corey? Y you could say I that. mean, I'm putting all this together. You couldn't dress, you sat at home by yourself writing songs. Well, you were a nerd a, when you were in high school. A dag, right? A dag, yeah. you're a dag. Yeah. Your record company been teaching yeah, in Australia. Bl bloody oath, right? Bloody oath, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we'll deal with this. Yeah. We're gonna, when we come back, we're gonna make Corey sing for his living. We're also gonna chat to Anne-Marie Biggins live down in Australia. Yes, welcome back to the lollies of death. Um, this is what Corey was attempting to talk about, but we never did get to, but we will later on. This is Attitude and Virtue. This is his, what are you muttering about? This is, this is his fabulous album that you can rush out and buy and make him fantastically wealthy so he can buy his wife Erica fabulous presents instead of the normal trash. Now, <clears throat> we'll get him to actually work. So would you please, he's gonna perform his new single, Baby When I Call Your Name. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Corey Hart. again in a moment you know friends there are some pretty dangerous jobs in the television industry reporting wars in remote areas of the world live actuality reports from hostage type situations but all of these pale into insignificance against the job our next guest has she spends her working life with agro please welcome Anne-Marie Bigger ladies and gentlemen <laughs> The song. Yeah, I'm a brilliant guy, aren't I? Well, you know, it wasn't your fault. Hey, a little bit of gaffer tape there would have yeah. stuck the world together. You know it's not lip syncing, right? <laughs> exactly. That's right. Yeah. It exactly right. right. It really yeah. does. Now, let's just gratuitously music. mention this uh, Attitude and Virtue, Corey's new album, Rush Out and Bart. Thanks, we've done that now. You can do it again if you want. No, we'll, we'll uh, do it later. Okay. You've got a song there about Madonna. Uh, is it, do you have a special relationship with Madonna? We we're real close. What do I, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? Uh, no, actually, I went to. Um, we talked about India and the curry problem, uh -huh. but uh, sure. we went, uh, I went on this trip to China and to India, and, and I couldn't believe that everywhere I went, all people wanted to talk about was Madonna. Really? And, and, yeah, every, every place we went, there were like photographs of her and her music and, and Madonna wannabes, and so the song's called She's Everywhere. Pretty much, pretty much sums it up. It I certainly have that does. Too. Do you yeah, have that yeah, everywhere in Australia, oh, people yeah. are talking about Amory? Did you see what she did? I can't believe she does that for a living. And, uh, also, speaking of close friends in the high and mighty, because you've got, you've got your intellectual, uh, your high-flying entertainment friends, so is Corey. Yeah. What do you do, actually? Because in Canada, we don't get your show up. Oh, thank Yeah, goodness. what do you do? Why um, don't you explain it to him? I do a children's show with a puppet called Agro. Oh, actually, I Aggravation. should say the... Yeah, well, yeah, yeah funnily enough. Very much so. Yeah. Um, Why would you do that? Oh, I... <laughs> actually, I've asked myself that many a time, but I think it's just a paycheck, maybe, sometimes. But no, oh, yeah. he's really So cute. you're a mercenary, right? He, he's a, he's a bit Don't like... take this from him, Emery. Don't answer the question properly. Go into him. Go on, didn't you watch me at all? Susan? <laughs> Not hit him. As soon as he goes, oh, you, yeah. you say something like, oh, yeah, right, buddy, and you're a singer. You know, go him, go him. Okay, I've got one for you. You're ugly and your mother dresses you funny. 
no, see, no, no. Oh, man, where was the cleverness? Where was the, where was the lead? Where was the, oh, we've got to talk. <laughs> Corey, uh, actually... Tell me what you do then. You, you... Oh, so, yes, I do. Sorry, Excuse Richard. Me. No, no, you go for it. Go for um, it. Yeah, I do a children's show, a morning children's show that goes right around Australia with, with a couple... Right, you could right. be on it if you like, Corey. You could. Yeah, don't hit me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just this awful What's wrong with this woman? I, I know. Well, hey, you started it. Don't do push it. She could get ugly. The, do you beat the puppet? Do I smack the puppet? Oh, I do worse things to the puppet than smack him. And I think that's a good cue for us to get out of this. Our next guest will be Dennehy, ladies and gentlemen. Now, have you met Corey and Marie? Yes, we're I having a chat. She lives down the road from me. Oh, really? Yep. Mm. We know the same people. Yep. Now, Georgina, you're all excited to head in. We all get the same song that we have to all sing together. So you're we won't kidding. be singled out, which is good because I can't sing. Oh, yeah, good call. And uh, what else? <laughs> Watch the mic technique when you sing. Yeah, take tips oh, from what? Corey. Yeah, you that whole mic thing is, he's got down, he's a professional. <laughs> so, what else do you have to do? We also have to go and. Oh, well, he's a puppet, but. Uh -oh. oh, it's like Adrian! It is! <laughs> Not as obnoxious. Should, I don't want to rain on your parade or anything, but are you seriously no. getting up in the Miss Universe with a bit of a I'm puppet going, Good evening, ladies and germs. No, look. <laughs> oh, cute. So you're going for the old sympathy thing. <laughs> the old cute thing. That'll work. That's a great ploy. That is a great ploy. It's really cute, though. The States. How was visiting the States? Oh, it's excellent. I went to Los Angeles for two weeks. Uh -huh. And I stayed with a friend of mine who's a costume designer. <laughs> Don't listen to Anne Marie, she's a circle of Anne Marie, have you ever been to America? Yes, I did. Oh, it's a thought, Georgina. If all else fails, go as Cooey the gum nut. Thanks, Anne Marie. Thank you for that, Anne Marie. We're going away. When we come back, we're going to debate this further. Corey will join in. Welcome back. Yes, Georgina, sitting here casually with the koala that'll take her to victory. And the doll. Oh, and the Anne Marie doll. Yeah, this how could we forget? Lot, eh? You're, yeah, no, Anne Marie does talk yeah, a lot. You're right, Corey. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, I I hear it on good authority. Now, yeah. but, girls, you'll be impressed by this. Anne Marie. Yes. Corey actually excels in the almost zen art of dishwashing. Yes, yeah, true. Not, not many of you see. See, absolutely, I've absolutely, done my prep. No, and I believe you actually wrote a foreword for a cooking book about your dishwashing. I did. Can he cook? No, he no, he can dishwash. Oh, yeah. Pay attention, Emery. Oh, <laughs> dishwash. Yeah. Now, how did this come about, O'Corey? Oh, I'll tell you. I mean, or I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a chat show that'll work. It's a chat show that'll work, right? I mean, I know that people think it's absolutely ridiculous, but if you get the dishes, you get and you right stack them straight in the dishwasher. Yeah, so obviously, you should have a small family because it's easier. Right. Yeah. Um, um, but what if, if you, you have no family. Well, then you have a. Um, what do you got, a puppet like yourself? No, no, she has... Hang on a minute here, Pelly. Hang and, on. And Marie, you don't even have dishes at your place, do you? No, we, yeah, we, yes, we do. Yeah, we yeah you do. had to think that, you didn't you? No, I said that. It's because, you see, Emery, what I thought is mm -hmm. when, when people play with puppets, you always, you know, when they're adults, you mm -hmm. assume that they have some sort of, you know, imbalance or something. Hey, <laughs> nothing personal here, Judd. I don't want you to think that, you know. You're surrounded by girls with puppets here, Corey. Don't push your, your luck on this. Can I vote here, please? That's so gratuitous. That, that, isn't that, isn't that, that is shameless. That's what we call curry favoring. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You remember because you've been to India. That's it. Now listen, Georgina, if you win, if you win the big one, you get Actually, it. He's a, yeah, no, it was he's okay. a nice person though. He is. Mm. Yeah, Corey, have you ever thought about acting? No, no, no. What's the problem with the cup here? They got the name wrong, right? Yeah, no, well, that's, it's the name of the program. That's the name of the program. Yeah. No, never acting, never theatre, never shows. You're protecting yourself like John Rivers, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Evil man. <laughs> Matt, no, no, nothing? No, not what about your I videos? I find uh, actressing, uh, I, find, I, find, I find... The talking thing I, I throws you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I find acting uh, embarrassing, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm you with you on that one. Yeah, it's kind of silly. But you like, what about, like, what about when you do really videos, though? Like I just stick to performance right now. I, I did a couple earlier videos um, when I started out that were conceptual, but right now... I would just stick to performance. Really? Because that's unusual. I mean, in the 90s, sort of everyone does a video as part of their big sales thing. I didn't say I wasn't going to do video. Oh, you're going to do videos? Yeah, yeah, I've done videos, but I just do performance videos. Oh, okay, so it's like... It's sort of uh, the, the camera tracks around you as you're singing meaningfully and absolutely all that. Absolutely, right. And I do my mic technique thing again. It's become a... Yeah, no, I think that's become a bit of a standard. A fam famous trademark of mine, yeah. Yes, I think we're going to see the Corey Hark sta standard trademark. Oh, if it was English, it would have been so funny. Never mind, we'll go away. When we come back, ah, uh, you know, when, front page, stuff like that. <laughs>
Welcome back. This is all going extremely well. Now, Georgina's about to take off and compete for Australia. Corey's about to, I don't know, after your promotional tour. What are you going to do after that? Well, the record's coming out, so I'm going to go back to uh, Canada. It'll, and, it uh, hits here in three weeks. Yeah, it comes out all over the world in three weeks. Okay. Except India, after I've just defended Yeah, naturally, them. the Indian thing, you've pretty much blown that marketplace. And uh, are you going to tour? Are you going to do live work? Yeah, definitely. I hope to be back here in Australia. I really like it here. Oh, great. Yeah. So you're gonna, we're going to get a chance to go along and heckle your gigs. Yeah, I like to come back and uh, work on my uh, lip syncing. Yeah, no, that works well. And Anne-Marie, your show bag hits town. I'm good at that, though. I'm good at that. What, do you pay attention to it and everything? Sort of. No, I try really hard. It Nothing hurts. personal, but if I was a home viewer and I found out I'm on the Anne-Marie team, I'm, I'd be going on. I won the car for the people the last time. Really? What were you against? Agro? Yeah, really. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that says it all. Sorry, Naomi, we're busy getting gestured at. Have you got front pages for us? Yes, just one. Okay, do it fine, because you've got to do all those long distances. Do you got, have you got any tips to keep yourself... I just bought a Nintendo Game Boy, and that's kept me busy. <laughs> that's the one that... I don't mind it. What about you, Corey? What about when you're touring around? How do you handle long flights? What do you do? Oh, well, I just uh, eat all the food. Yeah, right. Eat all the food. Good idea, because everyone knows airline food's so nice and good for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah way to go. Yeah, that's probably why And you spat out lollies. I just yeah. can't believe this. <laughs> you had... What about you, Anne-Marie? How did you survive the Fiji jaunt? So Very much like the show. Like, oh, yeah, Frightening, really. Well. Come away from Anne-Marie now. We're leaving. <laughs> And virtue. He's in the studio with us right now singing his new single, Baby When I Call Your Name. Woo! Wear them on the eyes or you drink them? Yeah, wear the <laughs> A little of both. What do you do? One of your ears are falling flat. Oh, Corey, I was just wondering, have, have you ever tried bunny bashing? Uh, no, what oh, we're not going to start now. <laughs> I thank you very much. <laughs> ah! No, no, no. Norm! <laughs> is that a popular sport here in Australia? Bunny bashing. Bunny, it bunny seems bashing. to be. Well, it's yeah. catching on. Yeah, we don't want to promote it too heavily, but... Um, no. I thought they used to shoot the dingoes there. No, no, the dingoes took care of That's what the we bunny, the bunnies, oh, the, <laughs> and various other so the, youngsters. So the dingoes are the extra... <laughs> That's, That's the bashing right. right. Okay. We're talking about my baby! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not some object! Anyway, <clears throat> you first shot to um, popularity with your song, Sunglasses at Night. H how did you come yeah. up with such a bizarre idea for a song? <laughs> twisted, you know, Corey. <laughs> like, tell us about it. Someone wearing uh, rabbit ears is not <laughs> one to talk about being twisted. <laughs> um, it was um, actually just a, a quick inspiration when I was in the studio doing my first record. It was the additional track to the uh, album, the last minute edition. And um, I just used to go around with my sunglasses all the time, and it's a, it's a song about sort of... Hangover? Te te teenage... No, what? no, I don't drink, but... Um, it was just about sort of rebellious spirit. Well, I'm uh, trying to be cool when you're a teen. I wrote it when I was 19. Yeah. Give me a break. It's been taking us a long time. Well, I, I started going to nightclubs when the song was a big hit, and it, it, it started a whole new fashion trend, didn't it? I mean, people used to wear sunglasses out to nightclubs all the time. In fact, I think we've got a couple of audience members here wearing their shade. Come on, put them back on up yeah, there in the pink hat. Yeah, Come on. Come on. <laughs> Sunglasses early in the morning. Yeah, that's that's, that, that's what you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good look. I, I, I actually tried that fashion at nightclubs, and yeah. it was so dark I couldn't see a damn thing and fell off a bridge. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know, the trick is how do you drive your car with the sunglasses on? Yeah. I've done that. Yeah. Sounds strange, but I've done it. <laughs> Any problems similar to that with your glasses on going to nightclubs? No, but you know the only, what's really hard about that song is that it really haunts me here in Australia because it's really the only record of mine that ever did anything here. Yeah. And and you know everywhere else I'll go pretty much in the world we'll talk about a number of songs of mine, but in Australia it's the real really the. Well, only there was, song there was like a string of them, wasn't there? Of top top forty. Yeah, they had about hits. nine. Uh, yeah. Nine yeah. And another US. number one in Canada, Never Surrender. Yeah. It was huge over there. Nine weeks in the charts, wasn't it? Yeah, but nine weeks number one. Do yeah. you write all your own stuff? Yeah, I do. And so, you play? 
Anything? Yeah. <laughs> Anything? <laughs> Anything? Cards. <laughs> <She, laughs> now that contact lenses are more fashionable, do you think you'll re-release the song with different lyrics? I uh, wear my contact lenses at night. Or... <laughs> what a comedian this guy is. They and it's so re... early, too. What a funny man. It, it's been a long time since uh, Sunglasses. What have you been doing in the meantime? Is that this song? Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the Braves. Who is it? The Braves. <laughs> are they a good team? Why, why do all Australians wear, uh, you know, American baseball? Because we cap? think it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other comedian there, what was his name? The, uh, the guy from, uh, who, was, who was impersonating a Greek cook? or a... Joe impersonating. Oh. He was a Greek cook. That's George Capagnaro. He was wearing a 49ers thing. That's right, yeah. yeah and uh, what's this team? This team is the, the bunny bashing the bunch. <laughs> the, New the New York Hairs. The New York Hairs. You've been traveling around uh, the world since the last album. What have you been, um, where have you been traveling? What have you been doing? Mm. I'm going to summarize eight years for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly. Right well, now, you've seconds, got about okay? 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, oh, I went all over the world, yeah. Like Jules Verne, you know, around the world in uh, four months. <laughs> yeah, you went to Asia? Did a few I went to too. India, I went to China. Um, just to, to get, I changed record companies and uh, signed with a new one, uh, Warner Brothers. Is that the time ticking? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bomb, actually. You're sitting on it and right now. Out. Okay, I'm done. And who do you travel okay. with? I'm done. Do you travel with I travel with anybody? Erica. Erica? Who's Erica? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Erica. Erica? Uh, er oh! oh. <laughs> 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 uh, we, can, we, can, we can let a little bit of a secret out here. Corey and Erica actually met at high school and they've been teenage well, loves. She, she didn't like me in high school. Well, uh, it was, yeah. but, but we I can understand it. that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you had your sunglasses on. Listen, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, yeah, good luck with the trip pleasure. home. Thanks for the yeah. abuse. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> We've got one. From Corey Hart, we go to the same.
Now, in the studio with me at the moment, I have a man who you may not have heard about for a few years. He had a song out in 84 called Sunglasses at Night, which went top 20 in Australia. How old were you in 84? 11. You're alive. Hey, I remembered it was on a compilation, 84, Up in Light, something along those lines. Yeah, I was only 13 when I did that. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm anyway, he's got a new album out, and that's what we're here to talk about. <laughs> but um, it has been a long time in between what we've heard out here in Australia. What have you actually been doing between then? Mm, well, I've... Uh... <laughs> Tell us about the last eight years of your life. <laughs> How long do we have? We have uh, eight minutes, right? Eight seconds. Musically. I've made um, five albums. This is my sixth album. Went through some good times, some bad times. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, records weren't released really in Australia, so people just asked me about that one song. Yeah, well, that's the one I think is most mem remembered out here. And also, the new album you've got out, Attitude and Virtue. You, you can look hold, at it hold that right up. You move in a yep. nice close-up on this one. <laughs> hey, there you go. There you are. But um, it's actually a very sort of uh, reflective album. Sort of, you've got a lot of social issues and, and emotional issues in it. What inspired you to, to write about those things? Well, I took a trip uh, just after I signed with uh, Sire, which is the new record company. Uh, I took a trip through uh, China and India and uh, never really intended to uh, to come about with some songs from the trip. But, uh, a bit of a culture shock, was it? It was uh, really inspirational. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of the songs were born from that journey, yeah. You've got the album coming out in two weeks. You've got the single coming out in a week. And that's Baby When I Call Your Name. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that third one right there, Baby When okay, I Call Your Name. Okay, track three on the yeah. album for those curious. Uh, let's have a look at that now. Thanks for coming in. Where do I look? Right there. Cheers. Bye. Here's Adios. a new single from Corey Hart. Mm. 